Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly coming at you with a totally new video. Um, this video is all about law school. If you've ever been interested in the possibility of becoming a lawyer, the process to getting into law school, if you have any questions like I have, like the top schools, the best strategies, how to prepare for the LSAT, this video will give you all those answers. Um, it's October 21st, 2021, 10 days to November definitely still keeping up with my cook with me series i've been doing all month long so definitely stay tuned for this weekend's upload of my new recipe um and check out instagram for the final results on sunday okay guys so let's get into it the first thing i'd like to tell you is get out whatever note taking um device you use whether that's pen pencil paper notepad um composition notebook or whether that's your iPhone, smart tablet, whatever it is you use to take notes, um, get that out because I will be giving you guys so many resources. Um, otherwise, just be prepared to watch this video over and over again. Okay, um, so I'll be giving you free resources and then I'll be giving you resources that you can pay for. All right, so let's get into it. Um, first of all, if you want to get into law school, um, you're going to have a have to have a bachelor's degree and you're going to have to take the LSAT um, exam. Those are the two major components to your law school application, a bachelor's degree and LSAT scores. Um, the LSAT is the law school admissions test. That's what LSAT stands for. The scores range from 120 um, to 180 and it is a four-part test um, that comes with a written portion um, where you have to provide a writing sample um, and then there's three other parts the test takes about an hour and 45 minutes unless you add the writing portion to it because you can submit your writing sample up to eight days prior to your scheduled test um, date um, so if you did add the writing portion on the day you take the uh, other parts, then it's two hours and 30 minutes timed. Um, each part is giving you about 35 minutes and then you'll get a break. Um, sometimes between after you complete the first two sections and they'll give you like a 10 minute break. Um, for persons like myself who need to apply for accommodations, you would first need to register for the exam. The exam is administered nine times a year. Um, so you'll definitely need to go on the website um, to find out what those test dates are. For example, um, there's only one more test date for this year, which is November 12th, 13th, and 14th. But registration has closed um, for that. The last day to register, register was October 1st. And then the next test dates are January 15th, um, 2022. So you would definitely have to register for the exam, um, your registration, um, and then you could apply for accommodations um, from there. If you um, are interested in knowing the cost of taking the LSAT, a great resource that I found online is magoosh.com m-a-g-o-o-s-h.com they also are on instagram um i actually had done an online search for um the process to taking the lsat and the cost and an article came up by them on their website that broke down every single cost um that you could expect to pay um with the lsat um, that ended up coming out to $520. The actual exam registration is $200, but there are several things that you need to consider. Like if something comes up and you need to change your test date, um, there's also a fee per law school you want to have your scores sent to. Um, there's an option to have your scores audited, which means it'll break down um, what your strengths or your weaknesses were, how they came up with your score. 
overall things you may want to work on and revisit take the exam again all these different things so each thing costs a different price um but to just take the exam is two hundred dollars and um per school it varies depending on the school that you're sending your results to could be a minimum of fifty dollars and a maximum of eighty five dollars there are links there that you can click on to put the schools that you're interested in to get an idea on how much it will cost you per school to send um, your results um, to, you know, get a grand to total going for yourself. Um, but that's the first step is registering for the exam and picking your test date. And then um, you can complete the process of accommodations. If you have prior accommodations approved, like if you took the GRE before, like I have, if you have um, accommodations from uh, other institutions, like if you have a professional licensure and you've taken other professional exams where you have received accommodations, you could provide that paperwork um, to LSAC and they will um, expedite your uh, accommodations based on prior accommodations otherwise you'd have to go through the process of getting your doctors to complete different forms and submitting all those things um and then the process is seven to ten business days um for the accommodations once you have registered so those are some things to consider um, there are recommendations that you should allot three months for studying for this exam um, because there are so many parts to it. And if you want to get a good score, depending on the school that you're choosing or the schools that you're interested in, um, then it's really important that you allow yourself time to wrap your mind around um, what kind of test this is, what kind of skills you need to um, develop or increase and um, taking in as many prep exams as possible. Um, one thing I will say is each school has its own average on who was let in according to what was their average GPA and average LSAT scores. Um, there are schools that will recommend if you have a 149-150, that's a competitive score that would get you in. There are schools that recommend you need to have a 170 plus um, to be competitive and get into their school. So um, it doesn't matter if you have postgraduate work, they are really focused on your undergraduate GPA and your LSAT score. So um, it's really important that you focus really well on taking this exam the first time and doing absolutely your best because the schools look at you taking it more than once um, as a negative thing. Um, so, and they can absolutely see how many times you took it, what your score differentials were. Um, they can even see if you've taken the GRE, GMAT, like all these different exams and what you've scored across the board. Um, and so, but the heavy, heavy focus and decision making items are the undergraduate GPA and the LSAT score. They don't care what you got your degree in just that GPA. Okay, so the next thing um, that you would need to do in your process of taking this exam is registering with LSAC, which is the Law School Admissions Council. Um, you could go to lsac.org, lsac.org, and you could um, go ahead on and register. Um, from there, you will be um, receiving access to their um prep exams um it's very it's a great resource you guys um they have courses there um they have everything broken down and one of the benefits of registering with them is like they have an atlanta law school forum um that's taking place tomorrow that i will be attending 
um, which is October 22nd, 2021, is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, there's over 100 law schools nationwide that will be in attendance at this forum. You will be able to meet with them. Um, you will be able to get information at the forum. You will also be able to get questions to a lot of your answers to a lot of your questions. Um, you will also be exposed to other lawyers, other students. Um, you will get so much information that will better prepare you for the expectation um, for the uh, educational experience as well as the professional experience. Um, it's a great networking opportunity. Um, you could definitely find um, schools that are providing tremendous amounts of financial support. Um, that's one thing that I wanted to tell you all connected to your LSAT score. The better your LSAT score, um, the better the probability is of you receiving scholarships. Many of the law schools and graduate school programs, upon admittance, automatic sub automatically submit you for scholarship eligibility and provide that to you along with congratulations, you've been admitted, you've been accepted. Um, some law schools are offering 100% um, just depending. Some of it is, comes automatic with acceptance and admittance, and then some of it is based on that LSAT score. So this is another reason why you should really focus hard on um, doing your absolute best. I had um, watched a couple videos. One was with um, Nadia Zayanka. She is a new graduate from Yale. She was applying to law school, and she gave us tips on how to improve your LSAT score up to 30 points. Um, she took the test one time, got 168 on it, and went forward with her law school application. She had great advice. Um, she gave out a resource called Khan Academy. That's K-H-A-N as in Nancy, A-C-A-D as in David, E M as in Mary Y, um, dot com. It's wonderful. Register with them. It's totally free. It's LSAC approved. They're partnered um, together and everything's free. I set up when I went on the website, I registered, I set up my notifications. Um, it gives me daily alerts to study, to do exams. Um, there's a diagnostic exam that she recommends and I recommend it as well. You take the exam, it's just like the actual LSAT exam. It analyzes your strengths, your weaknesses, and it puts together a study plan for you according to what you really need to focus on. Um, it's just awesome. Every single thing about it is absolutely free. Um, so definitely want to take advantage of that resource. It's khanacademy.com and it's K-H-A-N Academy. Um, dot com. Um, she also shared with um, us Reddit, R E A D I T, or Reddit, R E A D I T, um, dot com as a resource. There's tons of people there who have um, taken the LSAT, who tutor for the LSAT. Um, when I actually followed them on Instagram, I found LSAT tutors, um, people that were offering it for free, and then other courses that were offered at a severe discount. Um, so that was um, really amazing resource. So definitely follow her here on YouTube. Check her out. Her video is wonderful. Um, it's full of all kinds of great advice and tips, um, what her strengths and weaknesses were and what she worked on. She shared her first diagnostic exam, the first prep exam she took. Her score was 136. So um, by the time she was getting ready for her test three months later, she took another prep exam and she scored a 170 and then took the actual LSAT and came out with a 168. So... Um, that's superiorly encouraging, um, you know, it was inspirational for me. And like I said, I went on there immediately. I signed up. I never looked back. And, um, and that's that, guys. Okay, so I've answered the question about how much does it cost. I've answered the question about some resources that you can utilize in order to prepare for the exams. That's totally free. 
Um, I've set some expectations for you all according to the test um, and things to consider. Another thing I want to share with you all is that the LSAT exam is being offered um, remotely. So this means that you would be taking this exam from the comforts of your home or the library, wherever you could take this exam um, by yourself on a desktop computer um, and you download the software that there's a proctor or proctoring um, software that you download in order to take the exam. They actually give you an opportunity to familiarize yourself with the software before you take the exam um, so that you do not have time that you're losing during the exam trying to figure that out. So just a super exciting wealth of information. I actually had gone online um, to look up um, the top 20 schools, um, you know, top 20 schools in the United States for law schools. Um, I also looked up um, difference in pay according to what school you've graduated from. That was a really good read. I would say, um, you know, if you're interested in knowing that and depending on the avenue of law you're exploring, um, you should definitely see across the board, depending on what school you graduate from, really and truly. There's huge differences of $100,000 to $200,000 in pay according to where you graduated from, guys. Um, so that was that was mind-blowing. Um, if you subscribe to U.S. News, um, I had come across them while looking on... Um, magoosh.com and Khan Academy um, and the LSAC um, website you all they have um, resources for law students on their website there's like an annual subscription for $29.95 um, they publish your scores and they also have like a recruiting pool if you want to call it that where um, they make it super easy for law schools to find your information, um, your scores, and for recruiters to come to you. So you don't even have to do the work. So as soon as you're finished taking your exam, boom, you made your 172, your 175, you will be contacted by every law school um, that is looking for someone with your skill set, someone with your scores, and offering you what they have to offer. Um, some of the schools I was looking at after registering for the Atlanta Law School Forum, that's tomorrow, um, they were offering as much as like $22,500 um, a school year uh, for their law students. Um, one thing I will say is law school is a full-time commitment. If you do get to find a, a school that will allow you um, to attend part-time, um, you definitely want to be able to keep up with the schedule because a three-year program can turn into a 10-year program um, within the blink of an eye um, because there's just classes that are only offered in the fall or that are only offered in the spring or that are only offered in the summer. And then once you've gotten into that cycle of missing those opportunities, you know, a year and two and three years are added on. So definitely be mindful of that. I do want to piggyback real quick on the Atlanta Law School Forum. If you are interested in attending, it's not too late to register. Um, you can go to LSAC.org. Um, register there because you'll need to anyway. That's the way that you will sign up for the LSAT exam. You will go to my account and you will register. You will pick your month and day when you want to take your exam. If you're applying for accommodations like I am, you will also click on my account. You will go down to a request accommodations and you will submit there the application and your supporting documentation there on your LSAC account. And I'm saying, law school admission council account okay guys um there you will also find the forums law school forums like the one here in atlanta that i'll be attending um and it's completely free now a couple things you need to consider if you are going to attend this forum whatever time slot you pick is the time slot that you must attend um the only way you will be able to attend another 
um, time slot is if they're not at capacity. Um, they have gone to great lengths for social distancing and minimizing exposure as much as possible. They are also requiring that you have been vaccinated or you have a negative COVID test in the last 72 hours in order to attend. Now, another thing that you need to know is that you have to have those documents with you. Um, there's a booster pass where you can upload the documents and then it'll automatically give you an electronic badge or you can print it out and then show it, um, but you will not be able to attend without those documents. I know that it's late um, watching this video or super early in the morning, um, what you can do, there are, uh, there are rapid COVID tests that you can pick up. Um, they have them in a two pack at the 24 hour CVS here for $23 and 99 cents. They have them at the Walgreens here in Atlanta for $28 and, um, the 24 hour Walgreens here is on Piedmont Avenue if you're looking um, to pick one up and then the 24-hour um, CVS that I know about is on Cheshire Bridge here and there's another one on Peachtree um, like in the maybe 4,000 block of Peachtree so you definitely will have to do that if you wanted to take an actual test with the pharmacy for free you could um, call Walgreens or um, CVS and when the automated system picks up, it gives you option press option one if you're calling Walgreens, option nine if you're calling CVS and they will text you a link to schedule your appointment. It's super easy and super fast and you can um, schedule it as first thing in the morning. Um, get the test done, you're finished with that and then be heading on to the event um, because there's four time slots. So there's a 9 a.m. time slot. Um, I think the next time slot is like 11.30. Um, then there's like a one o'clock time slot. And um, I think I'm making that up. I think the 9 a.m. time slot and then the next time slot is 1 p.m. actually. Um, because I think after that they have lunch and all that. And then there's a 3 p.m. and a I think there's a 3 p.m. Let me see. Because the time slots go from one hour and 45 minutes. That's all I know, y'all. So maybe it's 12.30. I don't know. Don't, don't mark. Don't, you look it up. Look it up, you guys. You can be doing a Google search right now. You can ask Siri about the Atlanta Law School Forum. It'll pull it right up. Um, it'll link you right to LSAC's website. And you just register and get get it going it's super easy once you register the ticket pulls right up you just print it out or screenshot it have it on your phone whatever you want to do and um it takes a couple of minutes and bow you're there um what else another thing about the forum that i wanted to share with you guys is that they're offering um it's a law school essentials um class or workshop that's offered one hour prior to each forum so for the 9 a.m attendees if you were there at 8 a.m you would be able to attend the law school essentials workshop um so i'm definitely going to be there early i'm going to attend that they do send you an email um with links so you can see every single school that's going to be attendant in attendance um there are there are also links that show you how to get to the atlanta marquise hotel which is where it's going to be on 265 peachtree center um downtown atlanta there's links also um that give you an idea of what to expect and also what you should bring and then it also tells you even though it may say that this school is at this table you should double check by tonight this morning to make sure the school that you want to um you know check out is still at that same spot another cool thing about after you register for this forum is that um the schools reach out to you. I had tons of emails from different law schools um, with direct links that said, hey, would you like to schedule a time to meet? Um, would you like to attend virtually? So they had options if I didn't wanna come in person, I could just click and schedule a virtual meet, attend the forum virtually. Um, they had tons of information 
as far as about their school, about their program, about their um, admittance process. Some schools have rolling admissions, you guys. So that's a big question you should ask. Some of you all may think it's too late for me to get ready for next year and it's not. Um, a lot of these schools have opened admissions in August and September, literally last month. And they have it um, all the way through July of next year. So that's plenty of time for you to study for the LSAT, take the LSAT, and turn in your application for law school to start in August. So we're talking about literally in 10 months, you could be full-time in law school, guys. So... Um, I definitely plan on uploading another video tomorrow to tell you guys how it went. Um, it's really hard for me to vlog um, at events like this because people are saying like my full name and we're talking about so many things um, that and I don't have the ability to edit these videos. So it's like one of those things like either I just let it ride and just play the whole thing and then sometimes I need to put the camera all the way down and make it a video where y'all just listen. Um, versus you guys actually getting to see stuff. Um, so I'm going to pray about it. I'll see how it goes. If maybe I can get somebody to do like a small um, tour with me. And then I can take y'all. I can do a video of a tour. And then at the end of the video of the tour. Um, do a whole what the experience was like. What actually I went forward. And if I recommend attending um, a forum in the in the future um that's my goal for tomorrow's upload so definitely check back probably around this time um tomorrow afternoon and i will definitely post pictures on my instagram so you'll definitely know when the video's up and ready to be watched but if you guys have any questions please leave them um in the comments below you can always email me vi life with kelly at gmail.com of course you know my instagram and my twitter is the same vi life with kelly and you guys i'm wishing you all the very best on your journey and your plans um 2022 is the best year of our lives why because it's the only year we're living you guys that's the thing that you have to understand right now right now right right here right now is the best day of your life because it's the only day you can live. Hmm. All right, guys. Blessings. I'll see you guys soon. Stop recording video.